Hello and welcome to the Interrealms with me, Jurassics. And we're flying over the shopping district. And we're just coming in. Oh, look, a wandering trader. So we are at our greenhouse shop, which has been doing pretty well. And our trash to treasure shop. Also, you know, not many people may be buying stuff there but it's definitely being used there's always gaps where i've put things in that's really good to see I, li I like that so hopefully we'll get some more trash to put in our treasure shop but you know what i thought we need a little bit more over here and uh, i saw these two buildings here and i thought i want these i want my headquarters so we are going to be setting up the Jurassic Corporation headquarters right here in these buildings. And I don't know who owns them. Um, so we're just going to squat until we're told otherwise. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll get into building this. Uh, but a lot has gone on over this past week. So we're going to run a few clips in just a moment of what's going on. Uh, so you can get up to speed. Uh, and then I'll show you how we've done uh, with the internals of this. Because, uh, well, yeah, um, it's just a shell classic shell so i've brought some some materials over we've got our trash to treasure shop and we can go shopping in the in the shopping district if we so want uh but yeah we're gonna we're we're gonna squat we're gonna we're gonna take these over let's uh let's get on uh with the rest of the episode and first off we're gonna head over to the cliffs clan area uh where we did a bit of work on a farm that's been there quite a while and needed a bit of tlc Well, I hope you were able to distinguish between those two little clips, those time lapses of the changes we made here. And uh, this is our never tree farm that Laney built in the very early days of our server. And uh, well, it kind of got part way, most of the way there. And uh, well, we uh, we kind of just moved on to other things so I thought I'd come back and give it an update we had a few flaws in our sorting system and uh, we've now resolved those so let me show you exactly what we've done and, and how it all comes together so in here we have our never tree farm uh, I think we got the design from Shulker Craft but I'm sure uh, they got it from somewhere else so we'll put uh, the link in the description down below and then we've got our collection area here and I've built up the walls with some of the basalt to make it look cool and we've completely moved our sorting system over here we've also got our on and off switches so this is our on off for the actual farm and this is an on off for our bone mill input so uh, if we lock it any of the uh, items that get turned into or get composted and turned into bone meal will get stuck in this chest and will build up here as well um, but we can also load it with bone meal by turning that off and there's a really cool design down there uh, for splitting the bone meal so we've got the items coming up so well they get blown up go down into there and then they go into a water stream and come up here and now what we've got up here is uh, sort of a, an extended sorting system and at the back here we have two separations so the uh, warped crimson and warped and crimson logs if we get backed up it will overflow and will go into a item destroyer and then all of the other items uh, are compostable so and the warp blocks 
for both the trees if they back up they will go into a separate composting line and the same with these and then there's also some other bits that we just straight away compost they don't even get sorted so we've got these lines at the back here which will do that which uh, i thought was quite a, a good way because one of the problems we had was items were backing up and clogging the system and that meant we uh we basically destroyed the sorting system we had items just uh just lying around and it was not good so around the back here i've also put in a little access area uh, so we can have a look what's going on. So let me just get rid of this one. Uh, we can access the barrels to see how we're doing. Uh, I have been running this quite a bit of late. So we have got some there. And then if I go into our little fly cam, where, where are we? So we've got our redstone line that comes from our uh, lever over there. So our item destruction is here. And then I've got this cool item splitter here, uh, which was designed by Il Mango and the Sidecraft guys, I believe. So it perfectly splits these items uh, of bow mill. So we get two chains coming in either side. So let's let's jump over to a creative world where I can show you how this works in a bit more detail. So this is the perfect item splitter and it takes items coming into this hopper and perfectly distributes them to two outputs and it has a logic where it remembers where the last item went and then it will just continue whenever the next so if you've got items coming in stop start it will still manage to automatically equally split them and there's a really cool little uh, compact redstone here that does that work for you so that is a super cool redstone design for perfectly splitting items and i will have a redstone tutorial coming up next week uh, for that design Right, anyway, we need to get on and work on another little project that we got called into support from the Caves Clan. Let's see, where is this gecko frog? It's a flying end. <laughs> I'm over here. Oh, there he is. I'm over here. Ah, yes. Hi, end. Hi. Um, nice to see you. And you. How's life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very good, you. very good. Now that I've got you, um, there's something I need to show you um, in caves. Okay. Um, well, one of our members has been requesting, well, me to um, do something about it. And, well, I'm kind of too lazy. So I thought, who best to do something that, well, has all the energy to somehow survive even the extinction of dinosaurs? That's me. That's me. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes uh, that's you. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Would, All right, well, would, come, follow me. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> As I was saying before, the problem is in here. Okay. Um, more so what the other person wants, and I'm kind of too lazy. So this is where you come in. I'm getting right. you to do it. Right. Uh, well, follow, come on. Peek yes. behind the curtain here. Then. Yes, 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 peek Ooh. behind the curtain. I fell down literally the only hole in <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, we have to come down anyway. Okay, okay. Yeah. As you look here, the collection system for the Melon and Pumpkin Farm. Yes. Poppers. Yes. I can see that. I've been told <laughs> that they want it to be a railway collection system. So. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely make that. Happen. I don't really know how to do those. Okay, so that, that's easy enough. You do it. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll give me give me half a day, and I'll I'll get this fixed up and sorted for you. I'll, I'll need to go and get some supplies. And uh, yeah, it'll be all good to go. Okay. Nice and easy. I might have to do a bit of tweaking around here. Um, but, you know, leave, leave it in my hands and uh, I'll probably break it. Okay? Uh, break it? Uh, uh, fix it, uh, I mean. After I've broken it. Uh, I've finished improving the uh, redstone system here. So uh, I've removed a bit of redstone up here for the filters. Uh, so it should work a little bit more efficiently and put in some composters on top of those hoppers. But up here, uh, otherwise, it looks pretty much as it did. 
Uh, but down here we've removed, I think about 90 hoppers in total. And we've just got a single hopper minecart going all the way along uh, up into the back there where it unloads and then gets sent off again. So the hopper is, or the minecart is constantly running, constantly going back and forth. Um, but in terms of the lag reduction, we have definitely made some improvements here uh, for that. So that should be all good. Uh, I've spent a bit of time here and made sure that it's working. Um, let's go and look in the caves. Okay, so the caves area is looking pretty awesome. Uh, got this fortress wall kind of thing in between their lower and upper city. Uh, and there's been quite a lot of work done in here as well. Quite a few things going on. Not really sure. It's all <laughs> it's all very chaotic in in, in my sort of uh, the way that I do things. But I think it looks uh, really cool. Obviously, don't know what they've got planned for the rest of it. But I'm really liking how this whole cave area is coming along. Uh, behind that facade there is where we've just been working. Uh, so yeah, very, very happy indeed. And that's uh, another job done. So let's head back. If you would like to play on a server just like this with your friends, then check out G Portal. And using the link down below, you can get a discount on your Minecraft server. And also you'll be helping us out as it gives something to us for your support. That's right. Check out G Portal down below. So there is one thing that I very rarely build in my actual base. And uh, it's probably one of those things that you, you think, oh, I'll leave it. And then before you know it, it's too late and you really should have one. But then you can't be bothered. So, uh, you know, you, you, you're bouncing back and forth kind of thing. So I've decided I'm just going to bite the bullet. I'm going to be here for a long time. We've got two farms up there already. Uh, but we're going to have a lot of work going on around this area. And I, I've, I've decided I'm going to put it over there. So over here is the central point. We uh, showed it off in the last episode. Uh, we, we found the center of this map area. And uh, that means that when we do maps later on, it'll look super cool because everything will be centered. And uh, I'm actually going to put in a item sorting system. And it's a fair old thing. Uh, I'm still working on it, but I thought I would put in the first side of it. So we've dug out this little trench area here. And we're just about to go into a live stream where we'll be building this up and working on this project. So let's jump into a time lapse of that build on the stream. And then I can show you all about this build and its super epicness. Okay, so we have our uh, item, multi-item sorter up and running, and the input is, is working perfectly. Uh, I did test it with a full uh, chest, and that all works. So this little contraption that I've added on to the original design by Lumi Thief has done its job. Uh, we've still got this, which is a input uh, from our bulk storage, which will go over there. Um, but this is all working fantastically. And uh, the biggest issue I had with it is, is really just the way that rails work. So uh, some of these, especially that one there, was going the other way. Um, and then that was causing things to break. So by 
making sure we got that in the right place has resolved all our issues with this uh, multi-item uh, storage system uh, so i i think uh, we will be able to move on um, and expand it uh, get in our other section here which will be cool and we've got well bits here as well so there's going to be a lot for us to do here and i think we will leave this part of the project uh, this point in this video uh, but we need to go and check out at the Jurassic corporation headquarters so we have done a little bit on the outside not too much just uh, more to make space on the inside and we've uh yeah safety safety is important especially on this server because uh people die a lot sometimes through stupidness and sometimes through other members um but uh, we've got a fire safety, uh, or what is that, fire escape thing uh, there so we can get out. And then inside we've got a little awning here. And then in here we've got our foyer uh, to the, uh, the Jurassic Corporation HQ. I thought this looked pretty cool. Going to do some work on some paintings as well. So we'll, we'll get some cool little paintings in here. Uh, but this is a nice sort of reception area. And then through here... We're going to have our administration area. Uh, got some shulkers here. I'll tell you about that in just a sec. And then up the stairs we go. Uh, we've got uh, Minor Thoughts. Uh, he's got his own uh, office uh, based on a, a TNT, if you can get that. And then up here uh, we have got my office. Uh, yeah, obviously I need the best one, the nicest one. Um, not much done. We, we've got some torches in here, got our fire exit, and we've got a penthouse apartment up here. So we can, you know, if we're working late, working hard, trying to take over the server, uh, then we can come up here and uh, and rest up and get a few shut-eye, a oh, bit of shut-eye. Got, look at this view. Oh, a gorgeous ravine. I have asked reimagined uh, one of the fellow members of Interrealms to do her magic to make this place look worthy of a HQ because right now we're about fifty percent there. Let's be honest. We we we've got we've got the the blocks in, but we haven't got the finer detail. Uh, so we will be doing that over the next short while, probably up until the next episode. So make sure you come back and check that out because uh, I've got so much faith. She's going to do a magical job. Did a great job at the Rusty Spoon Tavern here where we played stat poker back in January's live stream. So, yeah fantastic that is it for today's episode i'm really glad if you joined me and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button like comment really do appreciate that and uh, we'll see you again soon bye